Yo, what is up guys? I'm going to keep this video really short and to the point. First, I want to say um, all the stuff about the gambling, the stunts, the drinking. I told my lawyer I did not want that in there and he will do exactly just that. He will take it out. So that is no worries. That is out of my way. What I really want to talk about is the main point. I never wanted to upset anybody. I never wanted to bring that stuff in. I never wanted to get anybody to get emotional because this isn't about that. This is about me and this contract. This contract that I signed when I didn't know any better. I'm an idiot. I should have never signed it in the first place. This three-year contract. What is in this contract is so bizarre. It's so f I wish you guys could see this thing because I can't even fathom it. This contract basically allows FaZe at any point in the three years to just take all my hard earnings and all my hard work and just strip it. Over 49%, over 79%. These, what is in this contract is insane, and that's not even the worst parts. And what I'm trying to do here is just serve justice to the esports community, the esports industry. These kids are getting ripped off. They're getting taken advantage of. These contracts are not okay, and this needs to never happen again. And there's tons of people in contracts this bad, just like me. And I'm the first person to stand up and say, this is not right, this is not cool. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. And if only you guys could see what is in this contract. I can't disclose what is within this contract, but FaZe Clan, please release the contract for the public to see. Let me show the public. Just give me permission to show these people the truth the truth that is within this contract. That's all I really have to say. Show the contract phase. Release the contract. Everybody, hashtag release the contract. <laughs> release it. <clears throat> Please. Shit, dude. I feel bad, dude. But... I will say this. It doesn't matter what the public thinks. Well, well it does matter what the public thinks, but at the end of the day... At the end of the day, it really is just going to come down to what is legal and what is not legal and what is allowed and what is not allowed. It literally, that's all it's going to come down to is what is legal and what is not legal. What can Tfue do? What can FaZe do? That's all it's going to come down to. doesn't matter what the army of 12 or 14 year olds who are defending each side think. This isn't Avengers, right? Please. Wow, my first take from that is wow. Uh, yeah, anyhow, no, right same. The video, ending of right after this response it. from Tifu, it started trending. I want to say you guys have to be very careful about what you trust on the internet, okay? I think it is inappropriate for Keemstar to be making a video like this, knowing his relationship with FaZe and with Banks, there is no way for him not to be biased, okay? I promise you, you will never see Keemstar say anything bad about FaZe. Never. Never. Keemstar is literally the worst reporter of all time. The problem with Keemstar dude is that he's literally unable dude, to separate his personal opinion and bias from information, he taints information with personal opinion, which is the, the literally the worst possible thing you can do as somebody who reports drama. Hey, what is wrong with you? You have the only stream of water in town. You say, hey guys, add the water, guys, come drink, right? And you Why piss in the water. Happy? What is wrong with you? This three year contract. Got him for three years. What is in this contract? So, all my contracts have always, like, anything I've signed has always had uh, out clause in it. Uh, whether it's 30-day, 3-day, 6-month, uh, whatever. I always <clears throat> sign stuff with a way out. Because what happens is, you sign a long-term contract, right? They technically have you for that contract if you don't have a way out of it, right? So... If you sign a contract and you're a small streamer and the contract is for $500 a month salary and then you blow up to where TFU is, if they got you on a three year co contract and they literally only have to pay you 500 bucks as your salary, unless you have something in there that states that uh, you can renegotiate the contract 
uh, you can buy the contract out or you can exit the contract or terminate or some way, shape or form. And that's something that young people don't know. It's something that just they don't know. Like you, you wouldn't know that if you were a kid playing video games and you blew up. Like I said, like he, I think he signed a contract when he was like maybe 18, 19 or some shit. So signed that contract at 18, 19. When I was 18, 19, I was a kid. I was a little bit smarter than a lot of people like signing these contracts and stuff. Because I was 27 when I started signing like esports contracts and stuff. I had a lot more life experience, but a lot of these guys like they just got them on crazy ass contracts for long ass terms without the ability to renegotiate. Or get them. Saying that, chat, I've been saying I'm always biased, always 100% pro player, whatever you want to call that shit, because these esports orgs are fucking ripping people off. Not all of them. Some of them do good business and stuff. A lot of these esports orgs these are never f savage. And there's tons of people. It should be it should be illegal what they're doing to some of these kids. It should it should be illegal, but it's not. They're actually doing it legally. They're legally robbing kids. When I was on an org, or when Apex first came out, or Fortnite first came out, I always like you could go look back at my tweets. I've tweeted multiple times that said, "Get a lawyer to look over your contract." Right, like. Have someone look at your contract. Do not just sign some shit because you you think you're about to live the dream of being a professional esports player. Don't sign. Like a lot of kids are just signing and they're not looking at their contract. <laughs> sorry, you had to hear that chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you had to hear that. Yeah. Sorry, someone sent that clip to Sim. I want him to know he hurt me. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, you can probably find your six seven while you're holding the wall. Good play, bro. Good play. Oh, what the f is that? Somebody clip that. What the f? Nice, I feel oh, no, wanted no, no, now. No, 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 no. This guy's got a gun, he does. He does in fact have a gun. And I get a I get a uh Okay. This guy's pissed dude. This guy's so pissed. Would you knock him? <laughs> wow. Oh, Can't believe you did that rude. He had it coming. He had it coming. Shoot him like that? Wow. Wow man. Wow. It really be like that. Can't believe it. There's no way that's oh man. No. Easy for me. You're kidding me, right? Like yeah. Malutka śpi? Przepraszam. Przepraszam, kochanie. You died. You're so ugly. We're gonna play games some damn music! This shit! Oh, oh, that was so close, bro. You saw that? Yeah, it was so close. Oh! oh! This made it! Oh! <laughs> Yo! Let's go! I did that shit in front of 80 people, bro. <laughs> Can you just let him out? Jesus Christ. My monitor's broke. Ha <laughs> ha!
I am not joking.